how to get going this week. It just always seems to be something that I need to do. So uh, anyway, Tuesday afternoon, nothing a bit ridiculous really. Um, here we have um, another 1984 Honda CR125. So I had one of these for sale last week and that's just sold. And um, I was expecting that this one was in a very, very similar condition really obviously I'd unloaded it out of the container uh, but I hadn't really had a look at it uh, and when I loaded it in the van yesterday I was like oh the front brake's missing uh, so there's a front brake missing um, and there's a few other bits and pieces missing there's the rear there's the barrel uh, where the the brake the rear brake cable uh, goes into the the brake uh, lever uh, so that's missing and then just a quick look around it and I went and had a look at the uh, the clutch cover uh, and notice that the, there's a new bolt in the kickstart and the clutch cover wasn't actually bolted on so when you push the kickstart down it does spin the engine uh, but it doesn't uh, spin it hugely hugely far um, and it does spin uh, but it doesn't spin hugely far and it's a bit difficult but it's because the clutch cover is not bolted on um, so it's just kind of slipping a tooth or whatever um, so because the clutch cover wasn't bolted on I one of the things that goes wrong with these bikes the clutch covers are made of magnesium and people run the wrong wrong stuff so they run tap water in there instead of antifreeze um, and basically uh, the water pump housing corrodes and it allows uh, coolant to pass through into the gearbox um, and it's a big problem and then uh, so anyway so I thought what I'll do is I'll take the the water pump cover off because that was bolted on uh, so I took that off and I was like oh it's not actually so bad in there uh, but then I noticed there's no water pump impeller there so the water pump impeller is missing if there's anything else missing inside there I'm not entirely sure um, so yeah it's not complete it's not gonna run it's not gonna ride uh, but it's a good source of parts or it'd be a good thing to get the replacement parts and finish off maybe you've got some of these already um, or maybe maybe you can source the parts I mean the parts are available for these things um, so anyway, let's have a let's have a quick look at her, and then I'm not going to be getting it running, and I'm not going to be riding it, and then we can move on to the next one. So I was a bit taken aback with these bits and pieces that were missing. I wasn't expecting them to be missing. I thought it was a complete bike. Um, clearly not. So uh, if we just have a look at, so as you can see, the clutch cover's not bolted on. Uh, the water pump impeller is missing. And you can see in there there has been corrosion and someone has repaired it with like epoxy or JB Weld or whatever they've used. So that is one of the things that you can do with these. You, you clean the area up and then you, you fill it with like JB Weld is what I've used in the past to do that. And then when you've done that, then you just keep grinding it back and grinding it back to make it so that the water pump... Uh, impeller doesn't um, catch on anything and it all runs smooth and this that and the other and then these things can last for years like that um, I have done that myself in the past so yeah so one other thing to notice is all of the engine appears to have been painted the front pipe has been painted there's a dent in this front pipe and there's dents uh, down near the front here uh, but it's all been painted. The um, the inlet 
manifold is all cracked. Uh, as I say, it does turn over. But as you turn, <laughs> the clutch cable moves, you see, the clutch cover moves, you see, so I'm not going to do too much of that, really. Uh, having said that, the tank has been painted. So actually, the best thing to do would be to strip that paint Sorry, off. Sorry, could you say that again? Sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. Silly what? Uh, it would be to strip that paint off and then buff it up to make it nice. The rad guards, the rad scoops, they've seen better days. I mean, I've seen worse on other bikes, but uh, if it was me doing a lot of work to this bike, I'd, I'd be wanting to be replacing them. Uh, the frame, this is not the original colour. This is not the original frame paint uh, on the headstock here. Uh, and I haven't looked closely enough at it to see if they've painted the whole thing. Uh, but that's definitely, definitely not the original paint. Um, I'm hoping that you can see that. That's like the main bit, really. I, I would say that this case is salvageable. Um, it's just um, you need to get that water pump impeller, etc., etc., uh, and do a bit of work to the water pump housing. Um, the, like I say, no front brake, so no caliper on there. The front wheel, I haven't had a proper look at this as yet. So it looks, this side looks pretty straight. I haven't seen any dents in there. Uh, this side looks pretty straight. The tire is cracked and it's not holding air. This front fork tube, the chrome has gone through and uh, yeah, the plastics are just not in the best condition. So the chrome has gone through on that fork tube. So finding another fork, fork leg, or set of forks for this bike would be a, a good thing. Seat's gonna need a new foam and recovering. I don't know why uh, the watch keeps doing that. Silly, silly thing. Um, Overall, so underneath the frame looks to be all right to me. Uh, certainly from this side, like I say, inlet manifold. Uh, pegs have been painted black. Silly. Uh, it's obviously been used quite a bit, this, because it's got quite a lot of wear on the frame. There's no chain slider on there. The chain's pretty manky. Um, but all in all, it is, you know, it's relatively complete. It's not, uh, it's not missing all of its major components. There's just a few bits and pieces that you're going to need to source. That rear rim is straight on that side. Uh, straight on this side, the rear brake plate is there. The front's obviously a disc uh, and it's missing that caliper. A bit of corrosion on that linkage that will probably blast up and uh, come back to being okay i would say you don't know until you do these things do you but uh, i would say it would be it would be all right so overall so it's gonna need a few bits and pieces so it's gonna need a front brake uh front brake master cylinder and caliper it's going to need uh, front fork tubes or front forks or a front fork because uh, one of them the chrome hasn't gone through on this right hand side uh, it's going to need work on that water pump um, and the bolts for the clutch cover I'm sure that clutch cover will be salvageable that will be the route I'd be going with it anyway inlet manifold um, And I think that was it for the bits that were missing. I think that was it for the bits that were missing, yeah. Let's do the gearbox check and then let's uh, 
and get some pictures of her and then I can get her up for sale for tonight, can't I? Okay, so we're in neutral, down into first, up into second, third. It doesn't turn the engine over, but it's not hard, but fifth. Hang on. First, first, and neutral, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, sixth gearbox. It's turning that engine over like a good new sixth. Down into fifth, fourth, third, second, and back into neutral, so all the gears are there. It's just a case of sorting a few parts and uh, getting a rebuilt, really. we get some pictures of her and we can uh, have her up for sale now. I can move on to the next one. Please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, just search Phoenix Motos.